that one. Hi, I'm Ray, and this is my vegetable garden. And this channel is all about growing your own fruit and vegetables, along with some flowers and some DIY projects. But today, you'll find me in my Brussels sprout tunnel. And after my September tour, I had some feedback on my comments, which I really appreciate. And Paul, a very good subscriber of mine, asked what a little gathering cluster was on the back of my leaves. And Brian from Allotment Life had informed me that I've got aphids on my leaves. So if we can see this, we've got aphids on the fossil sprout leaves. So how do we deal with this? Well, let me show you. So if you're worried about your Brussels sprouts having its leaves eaten, there are a few key signs to look for. First, check under sides of your leaves. You may see the bugs themselves, or you may notice a sticky residue they leave behind after feeding. This is called honeydew. The sap dries into clear, shiny spots. The spots often then turn black due to a fungus that grows on them. Also, ants tend to be attracted to honeydew left by aphids, so an ant infection may be symphonetic of an aphid problem. Luckily, low aphid populations do not typically result in a plant damage. However, if a large aphid population has been feeding on your Brussels sprouts, it can cause the wilting and yellowing of leaves, and possibly even other damage, although it rarely kill the plant. Rather than using harmful insecticide to kill off aphids, there are several natural ways you can both manage an aphid infestation and prevent it from happening in the first place. If you want to deal with your aphids naturally, then simple spraying with a high pressure spray from a garden hose works fine on small outbreaks. Pinching or pruning off heavily infested leaves or other plant parts may, effective, may effectively kill off the population if it's small. Also, using a water soap solution dealing with a large persistent group of aphids, try mixing a teaspoon of dish soup into a spray bottle and spray the infected areas and then rinse off. To compost your old plants, covered aphids can overwinter in dead plant tissue, so it's important to pull up and compost your old plants. Always harvest your sprouts as often as possible because sprouts that are left alone for too long undoubtedly become aphid breeding grounds. So, always worth just keeping a check on the sprouts and uh, look out for those aphids and we can get a nice crop of sprouts. So, what do you do to prevent aphids on your Brussels sprouts? Let me know in the comments. And if you're new to my channel, then please subscribe and ring that bell and we'll get notifications when we post some more videos. So thank you very much. Cheers for now. Bye.